Hello there, my friend. <laughs> Look at me, talking to a scarecrow. Forgive me, please. I was just sent out to recover your... body. It took a lot of convincing for this town's historical society to budge on that. Poor thing. Your tale is a tragic one. But I am working hard to make certain it is known. I only hope that I have enough to accurately portray it. It is difficult to find mementos from the witch trials at times. But, well, the story of someone that gave themselves to the pyre to save their lover, only to learn that he was cheating on them as the flames took them. I can't imagine that pain. I hope at the very least, your death was quick. It's probably of no consolation, but things are different in this age. No more witch hunts, no more persecution out of fear. Well... Not in this manner. Persecution will always exist, I fear. Uh, but let's take a look at you while I make some observations. Research Log, Professor J. Nivek. The date is October 11th. The time is approximately 2 p.m., the weather is mild. I am standing in one of the last remaining crop fields of Harold's Glen, 74 miles northeast of Moonvale, and am in the process of recovering the body of a local legend concerning a young person whose name has been lost to time. For the sake of this, I will call them Karasu, the Japanese term for crow. Subject Karasu lived in Harold's Glen over a hundred years ago, and was stated to have been an apprentice to a leather tanner that was accused of wizardry. Though stories conflict, most agree that Karasu sacrificed themselves to the mob to save their master out of romantic love. Apparently, while they were burning, Karasu saw their master absconding with a secret lover and swore that they would see justice done before succumbing to the fire. Locals took the charred corpse of Karasu and strung it up like a scarecrow. Records indicate that the ribcage was stuffed with straw to give it a less morbid appearance. God knows how that makes sense. <clears throat> As time progressed, the local elders decided that the body should be made to look like a proper scarecrow. The viewpoints on mob justice and witch hunting had, by then, become frowned upon. What was once a draw to bring in tourism granted Heroes Glen a reputation almost as bad as backwater. I believe they seek to avail themselves of this gruesome memento of the atrocities committed here. <sighs> First, we're going to remove the straw. All right, doing great. Little damage is being done to this body, which is surprisingly in good shape considering the centuries it's been here. The straw is pretty stuck in there, but it is coming out without doing any more damage than it already has. Good gracious, the crows certainly have gotten chatty, haven't they? Now that I think about it, were all of these crows here before? Hmm. I guess they don't see a person all that much. Maybe they're admiring that I'm taking apart one of their oldest enemies from getting at the grain that they so desire. <laughs> a terrible joke, friend. Don't curse me for it. Let me just finish up here. We're almost done. For what it's worth, were I in your time, you and I would have probably have been the best of friends. I'm considered the odd one in my bunch, too. We freaks have to stick together, you know? Okay, we seem to be almost clear here. Ah, 
It seems I missed one bit of straw here. Let me just... Oh! Mayor Roderick! One moment, my good sir! I just need to... Document! Document! This is Professor Agent J. Nevek documenting an incident pertaining to QS-074 Karasu. The subject has animated and appears extremely hostile. A 6x6 six six meter pentagram etched itself into the ground and appears to be frothing with insects and serpents of various species and origin. It would be incredible if it was also not so terrifying. Confirm suspicion. The local rhyme about the last straw were correct. Removing all straw from the vassal appears to have freed them. Locals that arrived during my examination are attempting to flee by vehicle. Zero seven four Karasu it has a best description cleaved the flesh from its victims and is using it to reform their own body like the witch of backwater aka QS054 it appears that Karasu was in fact guilty of witchcraft at the time though whether they used it to harm others is unclear It must be so painful. I'm sorry you went through what you did. Trust me, but you could kill me easily. I couldn't hurt you, even if I wanted to. Oh, remarkable. Within minutes, this whole field Corn is just dead and withered. The wrath and rage contained within this within this specimen is just there isn't a word for it, but it, it is remarkable. They're also floating off the ground like like some sort of god. Their rage is equal to one. I can only imagine the power they will unleash. Once that rage is at its peak. They want to go after those people. Wait! 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 Please! Please stop! They aren't the same people that hurt you back then, Karasu. Those people have long since died. Lost to time. Their bodies returned to the weeds. But I do know who it is that you're looking for. He's still alive, Karasu, and I want to take you to him. <laughs>